We have two secure facilities, eight partial confinement, as well as parole services for the state of Washington. Felice Upton, the Assistant Secretary for Juvenile Rehabilitation, says at any given time, the state has about 450 youth at its facilities. At Echo Glen Children's Center, we have 70 kids on campus today. Upton has been on a mission because of something she learned at her old job with the state's Department of Corrections, working at a women's prison. I watched the transformations that were able to happen through having a library. She says at the prison, the library was unlocking potential in people. I got here and saw there's no human in the library and there's nobody to connect with kids and teach them that they can find and lose themselves in a book. I reached out to an old friend and said, would you guys be interested in coming here? And they said, oh yeah. And now next month, Echo Glen's Children's Center will launch the first Washington State Library for incarcerated youth. I was so excited to see um, Michelle Obama's new book. To transform this space into a robust library, it took money. Around $100,000, which would make sure that you have adequate staffing and materials. Sarah Jones, the state librarian, says federal and state funds are why more books are on the shelves and a librarian is on site. And they'll have a full library program. They're talking about a poet laureate. This investment here and the resources that we're putting into this and hopefully the outcomes that we will see will be able to show that that kind of investment really matters. If we can get kids involved in pro-social activities, they will be less likely to reoffend and they will be less likely to end up in our adult system. That's why she's happy to see this, a library with a carefully curated collection, books meant to open young minds to a world full of possibility. And Snoqualmie. I think all of those resources will now be at their fingertips. Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.